Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Can mentoring help the dropout rate in colleges and universities? Mentoring could reduce the dropout rate in universities and colleges. Research and study done by Kerr, Schuess, and Oakwork, 1995. Students' dropout rate is increasing because they experience a sense of isolation, lack of adequate preparation before arrival at a school or university, or vagueness of future academic plan and focus. How could mentor help? What skills should a mentor possess? According to Cohen 1995, a scale for self-assessment of mental competencies and explanation of specific behavior required for effective mentoring practice and guidelines for continuing education for mentors should adopt. They are as follows. 1. The need for mental self-assessment. 2. Professional identity. and 3. Mental role. Out of the above mentioned mentors' principles, Cohen suggested the principles of adult mentoring scale, in which there are 35 statements represent the attitude that a mentor should be followed. Here are some examples. I encourage students to express their honest feelings, positive and negative, about their academic and social experiences as adult learners in the college. I discuss with students who are discouraged due to poor scholastic performance or other difficulties the importance of developing a realistic view of learning that can include both success and disappointment, and mentally other students who have been frustrated as learners but have continued their education. I ask students for detailed information about their academic progress. I refer students to other staff members and departments to obtain information they need about academic and career plans. I attempt to be verbally supportive when students are emotionally upset. I suggest to students that we establish a regular schedule of meeting times. I made a good deal of eye contact with students. I suggest that students who indicate concerns about serious emotional or psychological problems meet with a college counsellor. I ask students to explain in some detail the reasons for their college plans and career choices. I encourage students to provide a good deal of background information about their academic preparation, success and problems in college. I inquire in some depth about students' study strategies and, if necessary, offer practical suggestions and or all refer them for help to improve their academic performance. I explain to students that I really want to know what they, as individuals, honestly think about issues such as balance, college commitments and outside responsibilities so that I can offer the, uh, advice specific to them. I arrange my meetings when possible with students at times when I will probably not be interrupted very much by telephone calls or other people. I explain the need to explore degrees and career points to students who have insufficient information such as adult learners in transition between job fields or facing long-term commitments to fulfill degree requirements. I encourage students to consider non-traditional such as television-based courses as well as more formal education opportunities they have not yet explored to develop their personal interests. I point out inconsistencies, rationalizations in students' explanation of why their academic goals were not achieved if I believe my comments will help them develop better coping strategies to deal with the problem. I try to stimulate students to do more rigorous critical thinking about the long-range implications, time commitments, lifestyle changes their academic choices may have for increasing the complexity of their lives. 
I explained to students why they should discuss, even with someone else, significant academic problems they are presently confronted with, even if they prefer not to deal with these issues. I offer recommendations to students about their personal academic learning needs, from remedial to honors courses, tutoring, course leaks, based on specific information provided by them, as well as placement tests and academic records if available during our meetings. I tell students when I think their ideas about career or academic concerns such as job entry degree requirements are very clearly based on incomplete or inaccurate information. Thank you for your participating, watching and listening. Until next time.